For the next 24 hours, I'll be training like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Okay, so this is The Rock's workout routine for arms and abs, and I've actually trained back like him before, and it was very, very intense. So let's see how it goes this time. My biceps are cramping. Ow. Oh my gosh, that was so brutal. Okay, starting off with 45 minute jog, which is quite a lot, but hey, let's do it. Okay, starting off with a 45 minute jog, and to be honest, it was pretty boring, and I didn't really like it because uh, I'm trying to gain weight because I'm still a little bit skinny, and yeah, but since The Rock does it, I did it anyways. Okay, I already broke the sweat after the jog, but now let's start the actual workout. Okay, the first exercise is dumbbell bicep curls, and as you can see here, I'm using 15 pound dumbbells. I can go heavier than that, but since there's so much volume to this workout, uh, I went for higher reps uh, of 10 to 12 reps instead of my usual 6 to 8 with 20 pound dumbbells. Uh, I was still feeling pretty strong, but the, as you can see, the last reps are getting hard for sure. And I didn't push myself too far because there's a lot of work ahead of me, and this is just the first exercise. And I sped this up a ton because, again, this if I didn't uh, speed this up, this video would be like over one hour long. Ooh, wow. My biceps are already pretty tired, but let's keep pushing through. And the second exercise is hammer curls, and so far I was actually liking this workout because there's a lot of different variety. For example, like hammer curls, they're also a great variety for the biceps. And as you can see by my face, it's starting to get a little bit hard. Because for every set, I was going like close to failure, like within one to two reps. And here I was just flexing gains. Okay, and at this point, I was feeling kind of sore uh, with a lot of sets for the biceps. Uh, these first two exercises combined already have eight sets, which is actually a lot for the biceps. Ooh, okay, I don't actually feel as tired after the second exercise for some reason, but now let's move on to the third bicep exercise. Okay, the third exercise is spider curls and another exercise for the biceps. Again, this, uh, this workout so far is uh, very heavy on biceps. And I've actually never done this exercise before and I was using the same weight 15 pounds but uh, this exercise felt a lot harder than others and yep uh, the first reps were already hard for these sets I don't know why but this exercise uh, the dumbbells fed felt way heavier than when I did the other exercises. I kept pushing through and it was actually pretty hard. Uh, I don't usually feel this type of pain during workouts. It's usually only during leg days, but this time uh, I felt a lot of bicep fatigue, which I kind of like to be honest. Again, no pain, no gain. And here, I was actually surprised by how big my biceps look in this exercise. Oh, my biceps are cramping. Okay, let's take a quick break and continue with this workout. Okay, now into some tricep pushdowns. And I was actually very glad the bicep exercises were over because my biceps were basically toasted. So yeah, now into some triceps 
Uh, this is actually the first time I've tr I'm trying this, uh, and I actually didn't have the machine, so I did it with a resistance band and a bar. And the resistance band had about 60 to 90 pounds of resistance, so it was actually pretty hard. And here's the front view, and yeah, my back has some sweat as well. Uh, again, this workout was not easy, but I still uh, managed to keep pushing through it. Ooh, okay, so that was actually a pretty good exercise. Now, I've never done tricep pushdowns before, and I think they're pretty good. Uh, even though I don't have a machine, I use the resistance band. So yeah, I got pretty good tricep workout. Now let's continue. Okay, now into overhead tricep extensions and only three sets this time. And it actually could have gone much heavier than 10 pounds, but I wanted to concentrate on the contraction of my triceps. And tomorrow is actually chest and triceps, so I didn't want my triceps too fatigued uh, that I won't be able to get a good workout tomorrow. And again, I was going for higher reps about 12 to 15 reps for this exercise and I drank my water <laughs> okay oh and I forgot to mention the rest time between each of these exercises are about a minute to a minute and a half so not too long okay so yeah those tricep extensions were also pretty good my triceps are now pretty tired after two exercises in a row of working them. So yeah, now let's move on to some abs. Okay, right into some leg raises for four sets. And actually my big weakness of this exercise is not my core strength, is it is my grip strength. Like, uh, a lot of times I would feel like... Uh, my hand would just slip off my, and my forearms would just get so toasted that even if I still had more energy in my abs to do more ra leg raises, uh, my forearms would give out. So I stop at about 10 reps each time. And again, about a minute of rest. And at this point, my, my grip strength was getting weak and the reps were getting harder and harder. And to those of you who are wondering, uh, in between sets, I kind of stretch out my muscles uh, so they won't be as fatigued next set. Okay, my abs are really feeling the burn, but next up we have the rope crunch, and I've actually never done this before, so let's see how it goes. And next up, another ab exercise, uh, the rope crunch, and again, I've never done this exercise for me before, so uh, please tell me if my form is all off. Uh, I watched a YouTube video on it, and I think this is correct form. And again, I use the same resistance band, about 60 to 90 pounds of resistance, and it was actually pretty tough also but I don't feel them as much in the abs as those leg raises and at this point uh, I was feel feeling pretty tired uh, just keep on drinking water to stay hydrated okay surprisingly this wasn't as hard as I thought because the rocks workouts, they're usually like crazy hard and you almost pass out. But for arms and abs, it's actually manageable. So yeah, now let's move on into the last exercise, Russian twist. Okay, finishing this workout with Russian twists. And if you don't know, this workout actually took uh, about two hours to do. Like the jog in the beginning took up a uh, big portion of it but again this workout was pretty intense for exercises only for arms and abs because they are supposed to be easier than the ones like legs for example but for me it was almost as hard 
and I kind of push myself every set uh, to close to failure. And for some sets, I went to complete failure. And these Russian twists were also pretty tough. I was using a 20 pound dumbbell and it was kind of heavy after all those exercises. Last few reps of this workout, last rep, and I was finished. I was so tired. Okay, so this is the day after the workout. And to be completely honest, my biceps and triceps haven't been more sore before. My abs are only a little bit sore, but my, uh, especially my biceps, they are just so sore. Like, I can barely even move my arm. But, uh, yeah, I ho really hope you enjoyed today's video. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.